Hello everyone, Relgan here with another 3 Roach opener against Terran replay. Um, today we're having a look at how the 3 Roach opener works against Cyclone openers that will later transition into tanks. And I mean, I suppose most of you are rather familiar with the opener. I'm going to go through the early game really really quickly. It's as I mentioned before, pool, hatch, gas. Then a roach one, one drone in the gas, then three drones in the gas. Sent two links across the map. They sadly died against the Reaper this game. He's building a bunker for safety, as any good Terran should. I'm going for the three roaches. Uh, he sees them. Built a spore there to save the drone. I think the Reaper might actually escape, but such is life. So, so far in this game, everything that could go wrong has gone wrong. We're playing against uh, GM Terran right here in Omituinen. Omituinen? I'm not sure. And he's building the Cyclone. And because he went for the Cyclone, as, uh, as I mentioned, it's it usually pops out at, rec at like 350. I just choose to uh, keep the roaches at home. I of course spotted the factory with my overlord and I decided Actually, we don't really need to do all this, so if he goes for a cyclone, I can just keep the roaches at home because I'm not really going to do damage anyways. And um, he still has to be careful, or rather be worried about the roaches. So he's actually building marauders right now, he doesn't want to be killed by them. It's kind of a mind game, of course, but that's Starcraft, right? Checking with my overseer, I see the three barracks, I see the third command center, and I think I know what I'm up against. At home I'm going for the Spire into double evolution chamber, moving that spine crawler a little bit forward, I'm getting the roach speed because I always expect that my opponent pushes across the map eventually, either with a drop or just the pure bioforce, this time the bioforce is coming right ahead. So I have to, I'm moving my spine a little bit forward as well just so he really cannot get into, get to my um, hatchery there. I have enough roaches now to be to feel safe, so I'm going to move across the map with my mutalisks. I'm starting my double upgrades and I'm joining up my third. So we're taking our third bases around the same time. He has a small uh, advantage as he has a one upgrade lead on me. I guess a damage upgrade, but it's only a single upgrade and not a double upgrade. He also has a ladder, uh, a ladder. <laughs> Sorry, uh, a rather, a rather large bioforce. As I'm stumbling over my words. Which um, will make it quite difficult for Roach Ravager play, I guess. And he's also building the tanks. He has this ledge that he can abuse. So this is this is like the Terran map to play. Um, well, it's actually not the map, but it's one of the best maps to play this style on. He's pushing forward. I kind of want to wait until I get my upgrades. I'm trying to push him back a little bit. I'm going to slow it down because I think the game will actually end rather soon. Ah, it's going to go on for a little while. I'm trying to land piles and I get a couple medivacs and I do a decent amount of damage to him there. When I'm morphing my ravagers I always try to morph the low health roaches. I'm getting my fourth base at the same time. I'm spreading creep in all directions. Constantly trying to push him back with piles but I don't really want to run into the tanks right now. Just kind of want to wait a little bit. I'm trying to find an opening for my mutas to attack the tanks but couldn't quite get it. If I would land piles there I could technically kill all three um, tanks, but he's always keeping my roaches away from the tanks with the uh, yeah, my ravages away from the tanks with the bioforce. So now he's spread out a little bit more and he's getting ready for the push. I got my 2-2 on the way and he got his 2-2 on the way. Just going to be a 1-1 versus 1-1 fight. Spreading out his bio, trying to push forward and the deeper he goes. I will eventually start to notice and try to get a, a push on him. I notice that he's moving forward so I immediately go in. Throw bile down on everything. Had some nice bile shots in his bio as well. And then I just throw Trevature A move and kill him. I also, also made some Corruptors. I think I only have one in this fight. Corruptors are always useful to have because they kind of shut down the Medivex. And especially Liberators as well. I'm always trying to snipe the Medivacs if possible, like I do there. Because Medivacs cost a lot of gas and if you kill the Medivacs in the turn can't really reinforce them to build, to build other units. Right here, 
I'm making a small mistake as I didn't quite hit the tank the way I wished. Trying to save my ravagers, but um doesn't quite work out. I think I'm actually gonna kill that medivac that still has units loaded in. So I overextended there a little bit, but now I'm pushing him back and his medivacs are falling. He only has three medivacs left. So not quite enough to heal all this by you up. Only two medivacs left and soon only one. And we're pushing forward. I'm just I just keep trying to land my battles on the medivac. I always shoot where the medivac stands, so unless he moves the medivac, the medivac dies. To speed it up a little bit. And then he tried to take the expansion over there, but as I mentioned he has no medivacs left, so the Roach Ravager Force is going to kill him. Kited him a bit against his SCVs, threw down the last threw down the last piles and we get the Chichi, the tap out, and we win this game with a 2-2 Roach Ravager push with one Corruptor that has a total of 4 kills. So this one Corruptor killed 4 Medivex and at least one Marine that was in the Medivex. And so yeah, that's pretty much it. This is what my economy looks like right now. And it all started with that weird Cyclone push with the bio follow-up and it all ended with a Roach Ravager push that killed our opponent, just never stopped the pressure and eventually we, we got too far ahead for him to keep up. So I want to thank you all for watching, I'll be back tomorrow with another StarCraft 2 video. Until then, see ya!